wrong with that robot? It looks normal enough on the surface. Let's take a closer look. My turn! Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's go. Let's make it quick. You're annoying! You can't run! You have the worst luck running into me! Batter up! So aggressive. Are all the robots in the settlement like this? No. It must be malfunctioning. Uh, sorry, little robot, but it looks like you're sick. Uh, I'm gonna take off your shell and give you a checkup. Look, this component doesn't seem like it belongs here. Claire! Can I take a look? Oh, of course! <sighs> There's no mistaking it. This component was taken from Gears and Wisdom. Who do you think? It's obviously the same people who stole the meteor fragment. No wonder Wildfire and the Silvermane Guards were never able to find Gears and Wisdom. Keeping such a conspicuous piece of art around wouldn't go unnoticed. The thieves must have disassembled it and hidden the parts inside the robots. But the best laid plans of snow mice and men often go awry. They didn't realize the parts would interfere with the robots' systems and cause them to run amok. Now we just need to find all the malfunctioning robots and retrieve the sculpture pieces one by one. I never imagined this would help you solve the case. That's great! Let's get to work then. We're going to get all the stolen pieces back. The grown-up said that the spot where the malfunctioning robots appeared is in... this direction. Let's go look over there, big brother. You have the worst luck running into me! Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's make it quick. Batter up! The little robots in this area should all be back to normal now. We also got some parts of the sculpture back. It's not a lot, but it's a start. Let's start looking in the next area. You have the worst luck running into me! Stay right there while I give you a present!
turn. rescued all the robots in this area, too. <sighs> this is taking longer than I imagined. At this pace, it'll take us the entire day to fix all these robots. Uh, I get what you're saying, but... Alright, alright, I give up. That sculpture has dozens of individual parts. There's no way we'll recover them all at this rate. We just need enough parts to put it back together. <clears throat> As for the rest, I'll have replacements made. But... You have to promise to keep this a secret. You too, Clara. Don't worry! I'll keep your plan super secret, Miss Pela. Thanks, Clara. Let's get on to the next area, then. jammed inside. Uh, let's go give him a checkup. Phew. All finished. This robot will reboot on its own after a while. Let's leave him be. Miss Pela? Here's all the sculpture pieces I found. Good work, Clara. Let's see here. <sighs> we still don't have anywhere near enough. Do we have any other choice? I am starting to feel a little worn out, though. I know. How about we go talk to Mr. Svara? Uh, he might not be able to round up the robots, but I'm sure he'll have some good ideas. Um... I've never met Svalrog before. I heard he's not easy to get along with. <laughs> Don't worry. Mr. Svarok has warmed up to guests a lot more now. I'll explain the whole situation to him. Here, this way. Huh? Is Mr. Svarok talking to other children? That's not usually like him. I wonder what's going on. Clara, you have returned. And you have brought with you the Outsider and... Querying Database. Silvermane Guard Intelligence Officer Pelagaya Sergeyevna, it is a pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Svarog. Hey! Pig Sis Clara's back! <gasps> Big Sis Clara? Hello! What brings you two here today? These two young humans found a suspicious patch of components. They wish to deliver them to me to earn my appreciation. However, the origin of these components is unknown, and they have no practical utility. It is difficult to ascertain their value. Suspicious components? Can we have a look at them? As you wish. Sure enough. These parts are from the museum's sculpture. These kids found way more than we did fixing all those robots. What an embarrassment. 
me and my sister were playing outside. We heard some grown-ups talking about what they were going to do with the parts. It seemed suspicious. They were acting a little sneaky. We hid in the shadows and waited until we heard them snoring. And then, and then we quietly dragged away the boxes with the parts in and, and gave them to Mr. Svarog. That was really risky behavior. If those grown-ups have woken up, things could have gotten really dangerous for you two. We were just trying to help. Oh, what? Uh, don't cry. Uh, listen. These parts don't belong to Mr. Svarog, but you two were still a big help to us. I am unable to determine the logic behind this series of events, but if your actions have benefited him and his companion, then you are indeed worthy of praise, little girl. See? I told you Mr. Svarag had warmed up to guests! Really? So, we were a big help, weren't we? Awesome! With these parts, we should have enough to put the sculpture back together. More or less. This isn't good. If what those kids said is true, then the museum thieves have operatives working in the settlement. Now get in touch with the wildfire and the Silvermane guards right away, and have them investigate the matter thoroughly. But for now, let's take the parts we have back to the museum, or we'll be here all night. work this was going to be, I would have enlisted more help. But see the final product for yourself. Not too shabby, is it? Well, as long as you don't pull out the blueprints and spend dozens of hours comparing, this version is virtually indistinguishable from the original. Excellent work! With gears and wisdom back, the Industrial Hall can reopen to the public. If you're still interested in managing the museum, why don't you go talk to Miss Eris about opening up the Industrial Hall? In the meantime, I'll follow up on the exhibit theft case. I wonder if any new clues were found over in Svalrog's domain. I'll let you know if we get any new leads. I have a hunch that we're close to uncovering the culprit behind the curtain. Again, I've heard from Miss Eris that under your superb management, the museum is on the verge of regaining the thriving crowds of its heyday. If the momentum continues, and if the History Culture Hall can reopen on schedule, the museum's complete revival is surely just around the corner. So... You guessed it already. I'm afraid there's... Been another theft. Like the previous cases, a valuable item was stolen from our exhibit, this time in the History Culture Hall. The item in question has a connection to you. <laughs> Have I piqued your curiosity? It'll be easier to explain once we're actually in the History Culture Hall. Why don't I take you there now? With an exhibit like this, all Bellabogians will know your story. 
You can probably guess from the name that the History Culture Hall houses artifacts, replicas, and documents that are of great historical significance to Bellabog. Every passing day, we Bellabogians must continue to endure the city's harsh environment. The trials and experiences of our ancestors serve as a reminder that the path of survival belongs to every generation of our people. Every child in Bellabog should visit this exhibit at least once. <sighs> no, once isn't nearly enough. item in question. This projector is a limited edition version, custom made for the museum. The only one of its kind in the whole of Bellabog. It can produce images with a resolution up to... Oh, sorry. I'm doing my tour guide thing again. I'm sure someone as well-traveled as yourself has seen much fancier equipment than this. The issue isn't the projector, but the microfilm that goes into it. It's the most crucial piece of this exhibit, and it was stolen. There were some very valuable images on that film, and we hadn't gotten around to making a backup. I must admit, the thieves chose a good target, and they were fast and efficient. Slide projection is a new addition to the museum. It was intended to be a surprise for visitors when the History Culture Hall reopened. If we don't recover the microfilm, the hall's opening will have to be postponed indefinitely. Some of the images stored on that film are related to you, Miss March 7th, and Master Don Hong. The curators of the museum wanted to take this opportunity to tell the story of the Astral Express's visit to Bellabog. Uh, th that's beside the point. Uh, is... That your phone? Was that a message from Lady Branya? Hmm. This theft case has been dragging on for too long. She must have decided to intervene. If she can delegate more resources to the investigation, that should help it move forward faster. No point in waiting around here then. Let's go pay Lady Branya a visit. Welcome. If I'm not mistaken, the two of you just rushed over here from the History and Culture Museum? I appreciate your coming here on such short notice. I should have gotten involved earlier, but I was tied up with other responsibilities. My apologies for letting you take on the investigation without proper support. Lady Branya, we never saw it like that. <laughs> There's no one else here, Pela. No need for such formality. <laughs> okay, Miss Branya. I heard that you helped recover a number of valuable items for the museum, and that you've been running the museum as a part-time manager. Do you have any insights into this serial theft case?
Is that so? I see. In any case, this fiasco has been going on right under our noses for too long. Regardless of how cunning and talented the culprit may be, we must draw them out and demonstrate the resolve of the architects. I will issue an immediate directive to mobilize all on-duty Silverman guards in the city to conduct a door-to-door -door investigation. You're familiar with many of the locals in the administrative district, right? If possible, I'd like you to head to the city center and see if they have any clues to offer us. Understood. We'll head there at once, Miss Branya. <sighs> Guess you're stuck with me again for this assignment. Let's meet up at Fountain Plaza. Place is an endless stream of people. Where do we start? Agreed. That'll be more efficient. I remember lots of folks like to relax around the plaza. Let's head there first. Children of the Everwinter City, proud citizens of the preservation, hold your heads up high. Grind not against the mundane vulgarities of your everyday lives. Always remember, deep in your hearts, the teachings of the Architects and the Supreme Guardian. The savior of Bellabog, the guardian's honored guest, child of the galaxy and stars. Welcome back to our eternally snow-covered yet forever beautiful winter metropolis. Um, can you please answer the question we just asked? I haven't heard of any stolen artifacts. These days, I'm too busy praising the grace of the preservation to be distracted by worldly matters. However, if your hearts are troubled by this affair, then I hope that Klepoth will bestow their blessings upon you both, and that you may soon find the evildoer who committed such a crime. Uh, thanks for your well wishes. Let's move on. <laughs> 